In the early 90s, there was a comic book called Interplanetary Lizards of the Texas Plains, jeez, that's a mouthful, published by Lead Belly Comics, which I couldn't find too much information about, but this video is not about them. It's about IPLTP, which is a shortening of that title I'm going to use for the rest of the video, which apparently had a video game adaptation on the Sega Mega Drive, which is what we are going to look at in today's video. So sit back, relax, and let's begin. First, some background in case you didn't know. The Sega Mega Drive, called the Sega Genesis in the US, was released in 1989 in the US, Japan, and some other places. This is where our search begins. A game adaptation of the comic Wizards of the Texas Plains began development around 1992 or 1993 though, the exact time is unknown. The game was developed by Tengen. One of the few ways we can get information on this game is to look at the video game magazine articles the game was briefly featured in. Here's an excerpt from two of the magazines. Time for some stellar gameplay with the new game by Tengen. Interplanetary Lizards. Fight your way through lots of levels with this one or two player action arcade game. Join the lizards as they fight to destroy the forces of evil while picking up power ups along the way. The rave of comic books comes alive as you enjoy the escapades of Doc, Rattler, and Tumbleweed. These three alien lizards land on Earth in 1850 and it's never been the same. With this information, we can piece together a small view of the game. Using the screenshots, we know that this game was a third-person shooter, and a basic understanding of its UI. We know from the screenshot that it had sound effects, but it's kind of like comic books. We also know that this game would have been like an arcade game with up to two players. However, the game was cancelled for unknown reasons. Most likely because Tengen was shut down by Time Warner Interactive, but that's just us here anyways. Those magazine articles were the only leads we had for some time. Until 2014 that is. In late September 2014, a copy of the prototype was found in Connecticut by an unknown individual. They then posted on Facebook and said that they would upload videos of it someday? Well that was a lie. The original poster never posted videos of the game in action, and even the original Facebook post is gone now. Even though the prototype cartridge has been found, the ROM of it has never resurfaced. But there is one more thing the original poster provided. Screenshots. The screenshots the original poster provided features the title screen, the level select, and the Alondria logo. How do you spell that? Google, how do you spell that? Alondria. Thanks. Anyways, first, the title screen. We have the logo of IPLTP, a one-player option, and a two-player option. Also an options menu. The other, more important screenshot, features a level select. The levels are divided into two acts and a boss battle. For some reason, some levels are labeled as filler only? I don't know what that is. If you do, feel free to comment. With the names, I think the level featured in the magazine advertisement is Black Springs. No other name fits that image. The level select also features a time of May 17, 1994 at 9.59am. Sadly, these are the only other images of the game we have. We also have the cartridge which is just a regular Genesis cartridge with a label that says the game style and date. Nothing special. The game's prototype cartridge being this makes me happy but since the round is not publicly released, the game is still partially lost. Oh well. Well, that was a strange topic. Like, an obscure lost Sega Mega Drive game that was based on a comic about space lizards? But surprisingly, this comic I did not care for it was fun to research. If anyone knows Ali, please feel free to contact me. I actually picked this randomly, but it was fun to write and edit. I hope y'all had a good watch, and thank you. Hello, it's me, Bark, and post editing here. Uh, the next topic for the next video has already been picked. You'll see soon enough.